Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be looking at module four, lesson seven's homework. And it starts out by saying, solve the following problems using the vertical form, your place value chart, and place value discs. Bundle a 10 if needed. Think about which ones you can solve mentally too. So for A, it shows us 31 plus nine, and it also shows us 32 plus eight. So I will use the vertical form for this one, and then I'll show you the place value chart for this one. You can solve these however you want, um, vertical form or place value charts with disks, your choice. So for 31 plus nine, if I'm going to use the vertical form, I need to write my numbers vertically, and I need to line them up. So make sure if you're doing the vertical form, nine ones has to be underneath the one ones. If you put the nine ones in the tens section, then you'd be saying that this nine is a 90. So just be careful when you're lining your numbers up. All right, so here's my vertical form. Nine plus one is a 10. So if I'm thinking about a 10, I know there's a zero in my ones place and a one in the tens place. And then I can add my tens column up. Three tens plus one ten is four tens. So this gives me an answer of 40. Now I'll show 32 plus eight using a place value chart. 100, 10s, ones. 32 looks like three tens, two ones. And eight just looks like eight ones. Well, I know that eight plus two gives me a 10. So I bundle 10 ones together. I turn them into one 10. So I no longer have 10 ones. And actually there's no leftover ones either. So I have a zero in my ones place and I have four in my tens place. 32 plus eight is also 40. All right. Uh, section two says to add the bottom numbers to find the missing number above it. You can add these numbers in any way you want. You could draw your place value chart or you could do vertical form. It's totally your choice how you want to add those up. And then you'd put your answer in the large circle. And on the back there are two word problems. Let's look at four, since it is a two-step problem, it looks like. Antonio's string is 38 centimeters longer than his reading book. The length of his reading book is 26 centimeters. Part A says, what is the length of Antonio's string? All right, well, I know that his book is 26 centimeters. And it says that the string is 38 centimeters longer than the book. So if his book is 26 centimeters and his string is gonna be 38 centimeters longer, I need to add 38 to it. And my first try is I'm gonna to try to add like units. Eight ones and six ones. Oh, that's gonna give me a two digit number. So I can't use that strategy. Let's use, um, let's go ahead and draw a place value chart for this strategy. You could also do the vertical form. That would be fine too. But you definitely want to use a strategy for this. 26 looks like two tens and six ones. And 38 is three tens, eight ones. I always start in my ones place. I want to see if I can make a bundle of 10 ones. So here is eight. Two more would make 10. So I'm gonna take these two ones from here, bundle them together to turn them into a 10. So I no longer have these, but I do have one, two, three, four leftover ones. Looking at my tens, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So I know the length of Antonio's string is 64 centimeters. 
second section for B says the length of Antonio's reading book is 20 centimeters shorter than the length of his desk. How long is Antonio's desk? All right. His book is 20 centimeters shorter than the desk. So I have to go back up here and find, all right, well, his reading book was 26 centimeters long. And that number, that 26, is 20 centimeters shorter than the desk. So I need to take the length of his reading book, which is 26, and I need to add 20 centimeters back in so I can find out how long his desk is. All right, so this one's a little wordy. If his reading book is 20 centimeters shorter than the desk, that means the desk is 20 centimeters longer than the book. That's why we're adding the 20 back in. And we found out up here how long the book was. All right, so my first try is I wanna see if I can add like units. I have six ones plus zero ones. Awesome, that is six ones. I have two tens and two tens, that is four tens. So for this one, I didn't need to use a strategy because adding like unit works. So Antonio's desk was 46 centimeters long. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.